Good morning, and welcome back to Grand Theft Auto 5. Today we are playing with Michael. We are playing with Michael. Driving around um, downtown Los Angeles, or Los Santos as it's known in the game. And we're going to go to ammunition. Um, no one has yet to kind of have a look at this yet, as far as I'm aware. You know, the trailers only show so much when it comes to guns, but there are a lot of guns in this game. Um, more so than any other Grand Theft Auto game. They've probably gone back to have weapons. Um, and these are some really, really nice weapons with loads of add-ons here. You can go in and change grips, scopes, all the likes, sniper rifles, options, so many options. Grenade launchers, rocket launchers, chain guns. It is a fully solid game. You've got melee weapons. You've got just everything. If you can think of it, it's probably in the game. They've really gone back on the classic GTA armor. Loads of armor with different camos now. Um, I think they've essentially gone, you know what, in GTA 4 we didn't have a lot. Let's have a load in this. So what we're going to go do, well I say what we, Dave Cook, driving this. Um, we're going to head on over to uh, the pier, which is obviously Santa Monica. For the life of me I cannot remember what it's called in in uh, Grand Theft Auto 5 but the weird thing about this world is it being so big and so um, so like the real Los Angeles um, it's really weird to drive around and kind of know your way around uh, the roads and kind of know no actual places in the game that are there in real life or at least somewhat look the same um, obviously I don't live in LA but the amount of times I've done E3 now and being in LA it's kind of like oh that's cool I stayed there one year or you know stuff like that um, and just the world I just, I'm absolutely loving this whole downtown feel uh, Beverly Hills is incredible the whole Vinewood Bully, uh, Boulevard so Sunset Boulevard as, as it would actually be in and Hollywood or Vinewood is just um it's just brilliant and you just go block by block here and you you've got to look at the details that whoa that didn't go okay big jumps are back <laughs> that didn't go too well um we've kind of ruined the car but slow-mo jumps are back and the stunt jump failed there sadly but look at this beautiful car now um the effort that's gone into this game this isn't a rinse and repeat you know we'll put a building here and there look every single street is just immaculate if if you just if you were to walk, I think you'd be very impressed by how much detail they've put into this game, and it took five years. Do you know what I mean? So, well, I say it took five years. I don't know how long it was actually in development for, but five years since GTA 4, I'd be very happy with the design of this game. And Rockstar Games are perfectionists, so um, look, it's just it is just very pretty. And yet again, radio. all the radio music is spot on. All the adverts, classic Grand Theft Auto cheese. Um, and they've kind of pulled back from, you know, the serious nature of Grand Theft Auto 4 and really, you know, gone back to their basis. I and mean, obviously the AI here will park their cars. You know, they're, they're actual people. But sadly, we're not here to have, you know, let them have a good day. We're just going to here to hunt hunt human beings so sniper rifle here just have a have a look around see who our first victim will be obviously don't do this at home we're just simply scoping out the beach for some unlucky people we might just take out the guy who parked his car um wherever he went or this poor poor chap just yeah oh dear oh dear oh dear Oh, <laughs> oh, slip of the triggers. Genuinely, we didn't want this to happen. So, Michael here, the um, the Tony Soprano of the Grand Theft Auto world. He's a retired man. Uh, got nothing to do with the mob anymore, obviously, other than the fact he's got a sniper rifle and he's running around the pier, killing everyone. Um, not that everyone in the mob does that. Uh, you can get on the roller coaster. You can get on the Ferris wheel. It's all it's all here for you to play with. Um, do you know what? It's less busy in the game. In real life, this pier is absolutely full of people. Um, you can't get around. It really smells as well. It's got a distinct smell. 
you can pay to have photos with Obama obviously it's not actually Obama but you know just a bit of history there nice little snipe um, sorry assault rifle we've got a silencer on here just so many options obviously the police will come three stars five stars being the maximum um, and we've got enough attention here that a helicopter is likely to come in and uh, you know have words with us about the naughty behavior we've been getting into the gunfire also just is very very satisfying the um, they've kind of fixed up their whole oh look at that slow-mo Michael uh, gets slow-mo gun play because obviously he is the man when it comes to guns and essentially sorry the, the gunplay and the how the cover works is so much better uh, it, it plays fantastically this game if anything you, if you've played Max Payne 3 and you played Red Dead Redemption you played Grand Theft Auto 4 it's a culmination of what was what was good in those games and uh Sad we, we don't have a rocket launcher right now, so we're just going to fire in the air and do more devastation on, on the poor pier. Four stars now, it's getting a bit hectic. We are actually losing a lot of blood, but not a problem for us. We, uh, we've we got a bit of armor on us. Not anymore, actually, but we did have some armor. Do you know what? I've been on the pier and had a helicopter fly overhead, but not crash. Oh, look at that beautiful and and it's still there on fire you know in, in the past it would have just turned into a black shell it's actually still there on fire and if you do run into it you will set yourself on fire enemies will set themselves on fire as well another helicopter here dropping in SWAT a SWAT team to get rid of us um, this really is a hard game to combat the police you know it is not easy and there's, like I said before, you can enter at all these rides and kind of hang out and have gunfight. You can have a good gunfight. Go on the uh, roller coaster. But right now, I think uh, we've got a few police to deal with. But you can't do much without any blood in you. So that was Grand Theft Auto V. We'll have more soon.